Video game secrets are always fun to find, but when said secret is a legendary weapon only a select few know about it, well, that's at a whole new level. Of course, secrets are secrets for a reason, and these video game weapons don't come to anyone but the most dedicated players, forcing them to jump through insane hoops that'll weed out 99% of them. With that in mind then, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game weapons with insane requirements. Number 10, Unmaker Doom Eternal. The Unmaker made its debut in Doom 64 as a more slender, rapid-fire alternative to the series' iconic ultimate weapon, the BFG. It was then promptly forgotten about, though, disappearing from the series entirely until its recent comeback in Doom Eternal. Upon arriving to the game's main hub, the Doom Fortress, you'll likely see this angelic-looking gun floating in a locked chamber. And there it remains, taunting you, potentially, for the entire remainder of the game, assuming you can't unlock it. And if you can't, who can blame you? Because to liberate this shiny beast, you'll need to beat all six Slayer Gates, optional combat arenas that drop you into the most difficult and intense combat scenarios in the entire game. And not only are they brutally difficult, but they also do not replenish your health or armor upon completion, meaning that whatever ammo and health you use are just gone for good, making the remainder of the regular level even harder. On harder difficulty, this is an almost impossible task for all but the most skilled players, so is it worth it? Well, you still get the BFG regardless, which is hardly the worst consolation prize in video game history. Number 9, Excalibur 2 Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX's infamous Excalibur II is a weapon designed for speedrunners and speedrunners only. Technically, Steiner's a character with one of the greatest heel face turns in gaming history, ultimate sword, and the strongest weapon in the game, you will never just find the Excalibur II. And all the exploring, side questing, card playing, treasure hunting, and grinding you do will only take you further and further away from the legendary blade. That's because the only way to obtain the Excalibur II is to reach the final dungeon and defeat the boss in less than 12 hours. And the clock still ticks down during the game's many, many cutscenes, eating roughly 35 minutes of your time already. So really, at its most difficult, you have to get it in less than nine and a half hours of actual controllable gameplay. Or you could just let the game run continuously for two years until its internal rolls back to zero. And yes, while that is a cheat, some might say it's actually the easier option. Option. Number 8. The Scarab Gun Halo 2 of all the convoluted and difficult ways developers have found to hide secrets and easter eggs, Halo 2's Scarab Gun has no doubt angered the most. And for good reason, the Scarab Gun is a unique version of the game's Covenant energy rifle that is so obscenely overpowered that you're equally as likely to kill yourself with it as you are enemy Covenant or Flood. You find this handheld weapon of mass destruction in the Metropolis level, crossing a massive bridge. To find it, you have to make it to the really long tunnel and bait a banshee into following you, and also, this tunnel is full of enemies and allies fighting each other and you, resulting in a lot of firepower flying around and probably destroying the fragile banshee in the process. There are also some large roadblocks you need to physically push the banshee over with as well. So if you make it out with your vehicle in one piece, you can then fly the banshee to a nearby bridge where the scarab gun is waiting. Just be careful where you point that thing. Number 7, the Zodiac Spear Final Fantasy XII. Let's be blunt, without a guide, you will never find Final Fantasy XII's ultimate weapon, the Zodiac Spear. Not because of a time limit like in Final Fantasy IX's Excalibur II, or a convoluted obstacle course like Halo 2's Scarab Gun, but because the Zodiac Spear is impossible to find on your own, because there's no reason anyone would ever do what's required. The spear itself is located in a dungeon, but will only appear in a specific chest if no one in your party is wearing a diamond armlet. Why? Because it wasn't pointless enough already, I guess. All of this is because, I don't know, somebody had to implement the spear 10 minutes before the game went gold and just 
panicked. Consequently, this has got to be somehow the most secret, most arbitrary method to unlock an item that is also technically the easiest one on this list. Number 6, Thunder Fury World of Warcraft. In the early days of World of Warcraft, there were few enough endgame items that if you saw a player wielding them, you knew they were a badass. Among these, Thunder Fury was one of the most recognisable. There were precious few players wielding this legendary blade, and it was a true mark of greatness. So what makes obtaining it such a rare feat? Well, for starters, even acquiring the quest to make it requires a drop from one of the bosses of the Molten Core, which is Vanilla WoW's legendary 40 player raid. Then you need to bring it to an NPC who will give you the recipe to craft the sword, which requires two more items from Molten Core, including the essence of the game's most epic raid boss, Ragnaros. So you need all of that, plus some of the game's rarest crafting materials, and then you're good to go. Well, kinda. Because upon turning these items in, well, I hope you have your other 39 Molten Core raid members, because now you'll have to defeat Thunderan, a wind elemental the size of a skyscraper. Upon his defeat, finally, anyone with the quest, and only anyone with the quest, will be able to get Thunder Fury. Number 5. Hand Cannon Dead Space 2 Real space, real terror, real form, reads the description of Dead Space 2's ultimate weapon, the Hand Cannon. What it doesn't say is that the real terror is actually the process of unlocking this devastating novelty in the first place. To get this gun, you simply have to beat the game on Hardcore Mode, but the problem is that in order to unlock Hardcore Mode, you have to beat the game once already, and then again on the new Difficulty Mode to get the weapon. Now, the Hand Cannon itself completely dismembers most Necromorphs in one shot, making it an instant kill weapon for the majority of the game's enemies. And additionally, it fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. It doesn't have an aiming reticule, but that doesn't matter much when you can just spam shots non-stop. It also hilariously results in protagonist Isaac Clarke exclaiming BAM BAM or pew 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 when he fires it, which I think we can all agree on is kind of fun. Of course, by the time you actually unlock it, you've probably done literally everything else there is to do in the game, so your ultimate reward is to basically start a new game to check it out, have a little bit of a chuckle, and then move on to something else. Number 4, The Lightsaber, Star Wars Galaxies. If you know your Star Wars lore, you'll probably know that Jedi during the Galactic Civil War were rare and hunted relentlessly. And Star Wars Galaxies, the first MMO set in a galaxy far, far away, made sure to make your Jedi life as difficult as possible. To become a Jedi, you first have to become Force Sensitive, which you do by mastering specific job classes or visiting specific points of interest. After this, you have to wait for a character called the Old Man to just randomly appear before you. Then you have have to fight numerous Sith to start a series of quests, and upon completion, finally, you'll be a Jedi. Well, after you complete the Padawan Trials and build your lightsaber. Once you do all of this though, congratulations! You have now unlocked the ability to be a weak little baby Jedi. Now you get the reward of, let me just check my notes, living and training in total secrecy, whereby if anyone sees you wielding your fancy lightsaber, you will be instantly marked with a huge reward for other player bounty hunters to collect. Number 3. Invisible Hat – Super Mario Odyssey Super Mario Odyssey's invisible hat requires you to do everything in-game, leaving you to wonder what use it really has beyond the gimmick of turning invisible. To obtain the invisible hat, you need to collect all 50 power moons. After all of this though, you'll unlock the darker side of the moon stage, where your final power moon challenge awaits. This, though, is an absolutely brutal and a long obstacle course filled with instant fail states, and you'll have to have mastered every trick in the platforming book to get through it, all to obtain the invisible hat. So what does the invisible hat do? Well, it doesn't even make you invisible. Okay, it does, but only to the player and friendly NPCs. Enemies still react as normal, seemingly rendering the ability completely useless. This is the kind of ultimate challenge that you do just so you can say that you did it really. Number 2. Unlabored Flawlessness Ninja Gaiden Ninja Gaiden is the sole reason a bunch of us hold on to the useless starter weapon in video games. Because what if it's secretly the best weapon in the entire game? Yeah, deep down I know that the BB gun from Fallout 3 isn't going to be an endgame weapon, but what if? 
Of course, there's a 99% chance that the starter weapon isn't going to be the ultimate endgame piece, but thanks to Ninja Gaiden's wooden sword, we're all too paranoid to not hang on to it. And that's because this useless wooden sword can be upgraded to the unstoppable, unlabored flawlessness in the first Ninja Gaiden game. Unfortunately for you though, Ninja Gaiden is one of the most difficult games ever made, so while you're investing all of your resources into upgrading this wooden crappy sword, you're noticeably not upgrading any of the actual useful weapons, which will make the game even more challenging. But it's for exactly that reason that the unlabored flawlessness is one of the best unlockable weapons ever. It's actually useful in the game once you do unlock it. No need to already beat every one of its challenges, simply obtaining this awe shaped demon blade is in itself a significant challenge worthy of a reward, and it's a reward you can use for the rest of the game. Number 1. Hadouken Mega Man X the original Mega Man X features one of gaming's best easter eggs in the form of the Hadouken, Ryu and Ken's famous fireball attack from Street Fighter. To obtain the hidden technique, you'll first need to have X fully upgraded. That means all four armor pieces, all eight heart containers, and all four sub-tanks, the items that stock extra health energy for emergency use, and they all need to be full. Once you've done all that, return to the armored armadillo stage, and at the end, you'll ride a minecart that launches across a chasm, delivering you to the boss's door. But what you want to do is jump from the minecart at the height of its arc to catch a stone wall and then jump your way up to a small platform that contains an energy capsule. Now, whew, to get the Hadouken, just do that four more times. Oh, and don't get hit by the enemy birds who soar across the chasm with you as you'll need full health for it to appear. As for actually how to use the Hadouken itself, well, any Street Fighter player probably already knows. So, that's our list. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you get any of these ultimate weapons, and do you think they were worth the time investment? Let me know, and while you're down there, could you also please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.